Hey everybody, we are looking at question 16.73 in Brown LeMay Burston. And in this question, what we are going to do is use pH to determine both the equilibrium conditions and the equilibrium constant for this ephedrine compound. The interesting thing here is that remember, there's really only two different types of equilibrium problems, one where you have to solve for the conditions and one where you have to solve for the constant. Well, in this case, um, we are given the conditions and it's hidden because of the pH, okay? So in order to do this, we should do an ICE chart and then I think everything should fall into place. So let's do this. I'm going to abbreviate this using um, kind of my chemical abbreviation. So it's base plus H2O is in equilibrium with the base plus uh, the, the base bonded to the hydrogen. Remember that a base is a proton acceptor plus the hydroxide ion. Okay. Now the funny thing is, is that when you're given pH or pOH, that in essence tells you what the equilibrium tells you this box. It tells you the ins equilibrium concentration here. Okay, so how does this help us with that? Well, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to calculate using the pH. The pH equals 11.33. I'm going to reverse engineer to find the equilibrium concentration of hydroxide ion. And then I'm going to use uh, the stoichiometry to kind of, uh, or the ICE chart to figure out all the rest. Um, some stoichiometry because the ICE chart has stoichiometry. Remember, we don't have to worry about water in an ICE chart. Okay, so what is the equilibrium concentration of the of the hydroxide ion? Well, we know that the pOH is 14 minus pH. Okay, so that means that the pOH is equal to 2.67. So now we can use the pOH formula. pOH equals the negative log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion to get us what the concentration of the hydroxide ion. 2.67 equals the negative log of the hydroxide ion. And so we, I call it D-log, we D-log this. So when we do that, we do, we multiply each side by negative. So that's negative 2.67 equals log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And then we have 10 to the negative 2.67 equals the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And when we do that, we get the concentration of the hydroxide ion is 0 0.00214 molar. Okay, so now we can come back up here to our ICE chart, and we can actually plug that value right in here. That is the equilibrium value of this, 0 0.00214. How much of this did we start with? Zero. So that means this has to change by x, 0 0.00214. And that is super important right there. The fact that we found out by how much this changes is going to give us answers to the rest of the ICE chart and how much each of those things change. Okay, so how much does this guy change? Well, it changes because of the stoichiometry, it changes by the same amount, 0 0.00214. We started with zero, so that's gonna be 0 0.00214 at the end. We don't care about water. This is 0 0.035 at the beginning, initially. That value is right there. So how much does this change by? Exactly right, it's the same amount because it's stoichiometrically a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. For, so now we can do the math and get 0.035 minus 0.00214, and we get 0 
zero three two nine okay so here's the thing this gives us the equilibrium concentrations that we wanted okay I kinda got ahead of myself a little bit but here in purple this is this is part A right there part A asks us to calculate the equilibrium concentrations of the ephedrine base and of hydro or uh, yeah the ephedrine conjugate <laughs> Um, and then the hydroxide ion, and now we have to calculate the KB. Well, that's just a matter of doing the math now and plugging this in, and now we go and we, we will do that. So it's going to be KB, so for part B, it's KB equals 0 0.00214 times the concentration of the hydroxide ion, 00214, all over the concentration of the reactant at equilibrium, 0 0.0329, and then we can do that math. And when we do that, we get a Kb equal to 1.39 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay? So there it is, calculating KB given uh, POH. Okay, have a great day, everybody.